Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well. God bless you. My name is Kim, and thank you for taking time out of your schedule to spend a little time with me. All right, you guys. I want to talk to you right now about, uh, again, the topic is on witchcraft, but as it pertains to the TV shows and the movies and things that we watch. Um, it is something that has been in my heart for a while, <laughs> and I said, let me share it with you. I think I put out a video on my YouTube page probably over a year plus ago, and I feel impressed to do it again in regards to the series that I'm doing now, just to help educate people so that they can be empowered to make better choices. And again, you know, we're living in these days, you guys, and we've got to make a choice. We're choosing the Lord, or we're, you know, end up choosing the enemy. And if we choose the things of God, there's certain things that, yes, we can hold on to, but a lot of things that we need to get rid of. A lot of distractions, a lot of things that will hinder our walk with Christ and prevent us from having a full relationship with him. So in regards to TV shows, in regards to movies, I was with my kids. This is what this was a while back, probably a couple of years ago. And I was looking for just something different for on TV for them to watch because I didn't really like the programs that were out at that time. I was like, you know, leave these things alone. They're not for you. So I said, oh, you know, I'm a child of the 80s. Let me look for a TV show from then, you know, that you can watch. You know, they had good programming back then. And I think I put on, what was it, Voltron. <laughs> I found Voltron on YouTube. And I said, you guys can watch this. But as I started watching with them, and I was like, oh, yay, Voltron. And watching it, I was like, oh, dear mercy. This is, you know, full of witchcraft. You know, they have the one witch that's there and uh, the bad lady. And she's, you know, fighting against the good guys. I was like, you probably had an episode in, and I was like, yeah, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> so I moved on and said, let me look at who was it? Um, uh, what was the name of that show? Uh, G.I. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> G.I. Joe, you guys. I said, of all things, there's no way G.I. Joe is going to have any type of witchcraft in it. But yes, there are witches on their team. I was like, oh, have mercy, Jesus. What is this? What if, what was I watching as a kid? And then I look at Rainbow Rainbow Bright or like Gem, you know, or what have you. Um, what else is the other show? Like He-Man. I think even years before I was looking at He-Man. I was like, yay, He-Man. I love He-Man growing up. You guys love He-Man and She-Ra. And I was like, yeah, they could watch this. But as I was watching, the level of witchcraft, you guys. And I was like, oh, Jesus save me. What did I grow up on? And my, God bless my parents. They didn't know any better. And to say, hey, you don't need to be watching this. It's, it's littered with witchcraft. Leave this stuff alone. It is not of God. But I sat watching and being indoctrinated into whatever, you know, that they were sharing at that time. My Little Pony, Care Bears, whatever. There's some form or fashion, even though it may be fanciful. It's witchcraft. If you watch Disney, I think I was watching Cinderella, watching Snow White, watching um, Sleeping Beauty. Witchcraft, you guys. Think about it. <laughs> you have the, you know, the... The um the bad witches that are there, or even in Cinderella, maybe not so, but then her, her stepmother was quite awful. The way she, that she treated her, it was not of Christ. Like, you know, forget Cinderella, maybe not so much her. But yeah, because then you had the fairy witch, not the witch, but she was a fairy godmother. But again, they'll call it, oh, it's white magic. It's good magic. It's not. It's all bad. It's all bad, you guys. It's not good for you. And so just bringing this to, and I don't even know about the TV shows that are out right now. I think... um I forget the name of that show, Beyblades. I think my kids were really into that. And I would told them, I was like, you need to leave this alone. And it took me, I was like researching and it was only one lady that was out there amongst the crowds of people. Everybody was saying, oh yeah, Beyblades is great. And I had to, um, did my research and one dear soul was like, if you're a Christian, leave these things alone because these little Beyblades, these things that are on them, the emblems, these are all uh, different principalities and they're, you know, battling these are how do I say demons and principalities battling each other in these little you know in these little games that they have for these children or even was it Lego Ninjago and what have you all these shows full of witchcraft you guys and these are just the kids stuff not to mention you know the shows for adults I think about like the movies like um Lord of the Rings I love this movie epic film you know but they say, oh, you know, the, you know, the, the battle against good and evil. It's witchcraft, you guys. The, the guy who was, you know, was it Gandalf was his name. I've seen this movie tons of times. I think back to back to back. I was like, my goal one day was to watch The Hobbit and then from The Hobbit to watch, <laughs> to make a weekend out of it and just, you know, binge watch these movies. I love movies like that. But once I realized and, and, and was brought up, how do I say, and learned the knowledge that I have right now, I, I could not watch them. 
because I've anyhow I'll save that for another time these these things that you see are real <laughs> these things that they put on TV are real but alas uh, I'll digress and save that for another time but all these things whether they say oh it's they're fighting for the good of the people and it's good it's no it's magic you guys white magic black magic good you know it's it's magic and we ought to leave these things alone and not be engaged in these things these types of films and movies there you know they are put on demonic altars and they are you know they are, you know, sacrificed to whomever it is and, you know, whatever spells are cast on them. And then we as people come out and watch these things. Now, like, how do I say, what's that Bible story where the God, the, the, how do I say, the king was trying to pay this prophet to go and curse the people, but they could not be per cursed because they're God's people. But the only way the boundary was dropped is when they stepped into it on their own. They made the decision on their own. They left Christ and went against him and, and went against God at that time and did what they wanted to do. I think they were engaging in sexual immorality at that time. But here now, the same thing. We decide to leave God and to leave the, sh you know, the, his pastures and enter into areas where, you know, there's witchcraft. And these are things that God has spoken specifically about in his word that we are to be against it. I think even so much in Bible times that, you know, it says, suffer not a witch to live. You know, they would stone you essentially, or you would, you know, die by other, some form or some other form or fashion. And all throughout the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, it talks about leave these people alone. You are not to be a part of them. You are not to be of them. But here we are as modern day Christians, putting our children in front of these shows, ourselves sitting in front of these shows and watching them like it's nothing. And like, oh, yay, you know, even going to Disney World, you know, oh, it's a fun place. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's based on witchcraft, you guys. It is based on witchcraft. All these little, you know, um, princesses and this and what have you. Look at what was it? The um, one with the snow. Let it go. Let it go. I can't remember the name of it. You know, again, witchcraft, you guys. But they make it all fanciful and nice. Like there's nothing wrong with it. What was the name of that? Well, I guess I'll talk about that another time. Um, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. That, that particular series of that book um, that's slipping my mind right now. But... Again, some of the, you know, there's a little, little hints of it in there. And even some of the creatures that you see, these are all spiritual demonic creatures, you guys. Um, but I'll talk about that at, an, of an, at, at another time. But just to let you know, be mindful of what you watch, what you put your children, what you set in front of them and what you as adults watch. Look for it, you guys. It's right there glaring in front of you. If they are, are if they are promoting a lifestyle that is not of Christ. If you read your Bible, you know God's uh, personality, his character, what things are of him. And if there's anything in there that is not of him, it's not promoting a Christian lifestyle, you need to leave these things alone. If it's not promoting, you know, healthy Christian behaviors, things that are uplifting, and, you know, the Bible talks about it, things that are true, things that are pure, things that are lovely, things that are good report, think on these things, you know. These are the things then that we should have before us, but not watching things that, you know, it's salacious, that, you know, there's all sorts of adultery and fornication, there's witchcraft, people are lying and stealing and killing each other. I'll have to do a next video about <laughs> some of the shows that I was watching and when I came into a closer walk with Christ uh, and God started teaching me, I talked about that. He's like, hey, come, I'm going to teach you. And he's like, he gave me a list of shows. It's like, here, stop watching these. And I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But um leave these things alone. The music even, if it's not of God, leave these things alone. If it's not uh, of Christ, the TV shows and music, and it may seem as if, oh, what am I going to watch? What am I going to do? My dear, it is better that you, your, your soul is saved than you're setting your eyes to watch these things. It is better that your soul is saved. These are all distractions. There are so many distractions around us as Christians and people who are in the world, people who are engaging in witchcraft, they're aware of these things. They are aware, you guys. They are aware. They're a part of this whole system. But alas, we're sitting here all baited in and watching and ready with the popcorn and the drinks and everything. Hey, family, let's go to the theater and watch this. Hey, let's go and sit at home and we're going to, you know, Netflix and chill tonight and watch this. Really, people? You know, and I'm guilty. I'm one of them. But alas, I've learned my lesson. Avengers, you guys. I was a diehard Avengers fan. I loved the whole series. Was watching it, you know. And I think I watched the last film I watched was when, I guess, well, everybody came back and what have you. But the witchcraft that was there. You know, Doctor Strange, you guys. All the portals and everything that he's opening. He's there accessing the spirit realm illegally. Oh, my goodness. These things are real. But we take it, oh, it's just fanciful. It's just fun. It's not real. You know, maybe it's just sci-fi, it's just fantasy, it's just whatever. You know, these things, you know, leave these things alone. 
leave them alone. It hurt my heart. I had to, you know, cut out, you know, Black Panther and Captain America and, you know, um, Thor and all those guys. I had to let them out. I had to cut them away. And I'll do another video about them another day. But let it go. All right. As the song says, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> let these things go. They are distractions. They will hinder you and keep you from having having a healthy relationship with Christ or having a good, healthy walk with him and will hinder you and prevent you from making it to heaven. They are distractions. Get out, the Lord says. We educated. My people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. We as a church, as a people, are destroyed and have a lack of knowledge as it pertains to witchcraft stuff. And we need to know what the plans of the enemy are. And we need to counteract and push forward and come against these things. Leave these things alone. Boycott them, all right? I hope this helps. <laughs> I hope this helps. But I love you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop them down below. If you have any prayer requests, I will happily pray for you. But until again, again, next time, know that Jesus loves you. He's died to save you. He's there with open arms to receive you, but you have to make a choice and choose him. All right, you guys, take care. I love you.